Hey guys, and this is my Pretty Little Liars recap and review for season 5, episode 3 Surfing the Aftershock. Taking this one to the grave. If I show you, then I know you won't tell what I said. Cause two can keep a secret if one of them is dead. Hey guys, it's Ashley, and what did you guys think of this episode? Uh, I. I don't know, I wasn't- it was interesting and all, but I felt like it was more of a filler episode or like, I don't know, there wasn't like anything like that shocking. I recorded my reaction, but there wasn't really much to it. Yeah, so hope you guys like my recap review. I'm gonna get started right now. The first part of the episode, all of the girls are getting ready to Mrs. De Laurentiis funeral. The four girls are waiting downstairs at her house with Ali's dad and Jason. And then Ali walks down with this dress, like a different dress that she picked out. And instantly her dad's like, the dress off, change your dress. Like he was like really mad at her. And Jason's, well, Jason like just like couldn't believe she was wearing that. And I'm like, why have I seen this dress before? I've seen this dress before. Then it turns out to be the dress that her mom wore to Ali's funeral, if you want to call it. Uh, four girls but Spencer. They all think that Jason something to do with Mrs. De Laurentiis disappearance and murder. They all like pinning it all and all, all on him. Like, they don't know who else that she would stop pre protecting for that email. And Spencer does not think it's Jason at all. She's somewhat defending him because that's her half brother. So I I was hoping that they would show the somewhat of the funeral, but I guess that would be kind of like a repeat. But yeah, they didn't show any of the funeral whatsoever, which was kind of sad, I guess. Like I kind of like even though like I couldn't stand Mrs. De Laurentiis, I've said it in the last review, but I can't stand I couldn't stand her. But it's still sad, you know. It's still sad. So yeah, so then they show the girls back at school, and Arya especially is worried about Mona since she knows that the girl were in New York and she's afraid that Mona is gonna tell everyone and I'm all about Shauna too and then so Mona talks to Arya and she finds out from Mona that Ezra is back in town recovering he's not back at the school but he's back home in his apartment you see Emily came across Paige and it's a little awkward you can tell that Paige wants to wants to be her girlfriend again but Emily She's not so sure, she just kind of wants to be friends. There's this new swimmer in town, she just transferred Rosewood High and she's a swimmer. All of a sudden she just randomly talks to Emily, like she keeps staring at Emily and Emily's like wondering why she's staring at her so much. But it's because that she kind of looks up to Emily being like a really good swimmer, like all the trophies. And then so she wants Emily to watch her swim by the pool and tell her what she needs to work on. And later on in the locker room, Sydney is, I guess she just finished swimming, telling her like to stand up on the locker to measure her body or something. And Paige randomly walks in and then joins in measuring her like with span or something like that. Very awkward. Um, they had like a really awkward conversation. But Sydney's like, oh, so do you know each other? And you guys friends? And it was just really awkward. Just a very awkward and funny situation and i'm so so happy that the girl who's playing sydney is chloe bridges and if you don't know who she is she was in camp rock 2 which is one of my favorite disney channel movies and i knew that she was gonna be in season 5 but i didn't know exactly what episode so when i saw her i'm like well no actually when i saw her name on the screen i was like yes she's gonna be in this episode but yeah so um they didn't really give much about her character yet like you think do you guys think that she's gonna be one of emily's girlfriends or or, or is she just one random character like, i don't know they, i don't really know but yeah she doesn't seem creepy at all she's like pretty friendly it's one of those random side characters right now so so with emily and paige later in the episode paige is waiting on emily's doorstep well emily comes home and Paige, she tells Emily that she loves her. Amazing. I mean, why can't Emily just get back together with her? I mean, she didn't really say much. You could tell she really wants Emily back. And so she kind of walks away and Emily tells her, you deserve the best or something similar to along those lines. And then Paige just kind of looks at her and walks away. And it was like, dang it, like why, like, why can't? God, it just frustrates me that my OTP is 
like broken up and so then also in the episode ali and hannah go to like this funeral home to get the book that people write in for the funeral i don't know this is the part i got really confused ali she saw this painting and then she's like i'll be right back and it was just random painting the guy in charge of the funeral home confuses Anna as Ali, but he's like, I'm sorry, your mom, about your mom and all that. And then Ali comes back and like, oh, this is my friend Hannah, I'm Ali. Oh, I'm sorry, like the description that I heard, I thought you were Ali. And then this was really sad though, like Ali, she's, she kind of changed, but she still has like one of those like moments where like, you didn't need to say that, like that, that went too far. She jokingly told Hannah that, oh yeah, before it was easier to tell us apart. And she kind of meant like Hannah's weight and how she was um, hefty Hannah, you know? Hannah just gets this random flashback of her eating like all these cupcakes and then Mona is like all glamorous. And it was uh, two months after Ali disappeared and they're looking at a missing Alison De Laurentiis flyer and Mona talks about how she looks so good in that poster and how they need to, just because of her looks, she's unforgettable but she's kind of implying the way Hannah looks is kind of forgettable like no one's gonna um, if she were ever to go missing no one would remember her because of the way she looks so then we're back to reality and I was like okay come on Hannah are we going so then they, they leave uh, also in this episode Spencer confronts Melissa about why she lied to them about seeing Toby in Paris and Melissa didn't really say much she kind of change the topic about how she needs to stay away from Jason and Ali, their dad, and and she also said that she wished that Ali never returned, which was kind of like, I don't know, I Melissa is one of those characters that are like very mysterious and like from the beginning, like from the first episode, she was already creepy. She's just getting really creepier and creepier. I don't know, I feel like something bad might happen to her since she has all these secrets. I don't know, I just have this feeling something bad is gonna happen. I don't know if she's gonna get killed or what do you guys think about Melissa? I also too, this Mr. Hastings he can't go into their backyard where Mr. De Laurentiis was buried and he asks Spencer how would she feel if they were to sell their house and move away? So he's not really sure I guess about it. Like so they and also Mr. Hastings doesn't wanna be living right next to De Laurentiis house. Spencer was saying that she's related to them and so she can't just really leave them like no matter where they go they'll always be family and it'll never leave them that's kind of what she was saying later in the episode Arya goes to Ezra's apartment and he just kind of said that he knew he heard about what Ali said about in the police to the police because it was all over the news and how they have to follow that story and he won't say anything like the truth Allison's mom's murder but he didn't know about Shauna being killed and Arya kind of feels guilty she like kind of wants to tell him but at the same time she's not really sure and so she leaves Shauna gets this other flashback her in her room I think she was like on a vanity and Mona's like glamming her up and all that and she goes to Hannah's closet he pulls out this really nice like elegant looking blouse and says oh that's Ali's then Mona tells her to try it on and so Hannah tries it on and it to her surprise it fits her and then Mona tells her that everything's all better with a friend or something like that and she kind of you know being really fake to Hannah but at that time Hannah thought she really was being a good friend then Hannah and Emily they go to uh, that apartment that they went to in the last episode where they came across with that really creepy guy this time they questioned the creepy guy and while talking to him they found out that it was a sober living house where Jason was at so now Hannah was pretty bummed because now they know that it wasn't Jason who murdered Mrs. De Laurentiis or buried her or anything like that and so they're driving in the car and Hannah gets another flashback the first time she went to school in her new look with Mona so they're walking down the halls slow motion and everyone's like turning heads like looking at them like 
whoa, like, wow, like, what happened, you know, to her look. And they even show Spencer and Emily, like, yeah, and I don't know, I just thought Emily's face was really funny. Like, she was kind of shocked, I guess. Um, and then, so, it led up to the conversation where first Hannah realizes that that wasn't her. She didn't know who she was. I guess now she pretty much knows who she is. But at that time, she thought she knew who she was, but Mona was kind of making her into something she wasn't. So it goes into this conversation with Emily while they're in the car driving. What was it like to come out? And Emily's kind of like shocked, like, like why the random question? You know, like I kind of was like weird, like at first I didn't know where she was coming from. She never changed after coming out. She just became the person who she always was. And, and then Hannah asks her if she always knew. She said, yeah, she always knew, but she denied it and all that. And Hannah says that she never knew who she was before. Spencer, she talks to Jason and Jason says that his mother had a lot of secrets and that's what killed her. And it sounded so familiar. Like, isn't that what they said about Ali before? I feel like they said that about her. Also, Ali visits Ezra at his apartment. She was like thanking him for saving them. In New York she was happy that he didn't die and all of that about his book and all that and why he didn't burn it and he said he didn't want to burn it because because he wanted to help Arya so also with Hannah still like is thinking about the whole transformation that Mona helped her and all that she sees Mona at the cafe and she tells Mona that she didn't help her at all and that she changed her and Mona just said this snarky comment I can't remember what it really was but it was something like like you should thank me or yeah like you should thank me for the alley upgrade I think she said something like that so like oh I just can't stand Mona she just drives me crazy all the girls know that it's not Jason like Jason is out of the picture Spencer randomly thinks that she thinks that Mrs. Delorentis email to someone be her own dad. Remember how she, she thought that she killed Allie? Now she's thinking that she might have killed the other girl who's in Allie's grave. Mrs. D was trying to protect her parents or dad mostly. And then Arya, she wasn't so sure about that theory. The guilt was eating her up about her killing Shauna again. Um, so then later on, she goes to Ezra's apartment again and tells him that Shauna's dead and she killed her and it was all a mistake. It just kind of happened and then Ezra He asks her how can I help and it kind of cuts from there So also I think we're getting closer and closer to finding out what Melissa knows and that she told her dad because Spencer um, had a printed out paper of the email. She showed it to her dad asking what he knows about it. He didn't say much and he said like it doesn't mean anything. And then Melissa walks in. She snatches the paper and she rips it up. Then she says to her dad that maybe we should tell her. And he kind of just interrupted her and saying that no we shouldn't tell her. Like we, we sh like he got all like defensive like trying to hide something. He's like no we shouldn't tell her and all that. And then Spencer's like, oh, tell me what, like, what, what do I need to know? And her dad gets all, like, mad and tells Spencer to go up to her room. He says, can't lie about something you don't know about. I heard that we'll find out what Melissa's secret is in the 100th episode, which isn't next week's episode, but it's the following week's episode. Hopefully it's true because how many times have they told us something and we never find out, so. And then so, then the end, Anna is at a hair salon. They're about to like color her hair a different color and they ask her if she wants to go blonde again and she's like, nope, she wants to do a different color and it's time for a change. And then there's like this clouded window like up in the front and Mona kind of just looks inside then there's like another girl on the other side kind of like looking in and I don't know if she was talking to Mona but she turned to Mona and you can't really tell who she is but it looked like a girl with wavy hair a trench coat that's what it looked like to me but you can't really tell also what I thought was really sketchy and shady somewhere in the middle of the episode Ali was walking home Mr. Hastings randomly approaches her and says oh it's weird to see you walking alone on the streets and all and she's like well i have to walk out of my house i have to leave my room sometime and then he asks her oh why don't you catch a ride with me back home and she kind of just looks at him and it kind of just cuts off um, and then we never like really hear about her or see up see her ever again in the episode so it makes me wonder i like 
like I hope she didn't catch a ride with him because that was one sketchy scene like just them in the street like just the way he was acting too is a little creepy overall I guess I like this episode it was a little somewhat boring but at the same time it was good I guess nothing like full-on dramatic happened so see you guys next week wednesday because i post my recaps on wednesday and i also post random videos vlogs and stuff and i i did the heads up challenge with my cousin below who's visiting and i'll be in the down bar if you want to check it out and my twitter and all of that will be down there as well and yeah bye guys peace out